Just over the Ursen Bridge connecting Denmark to Sweden lies Halbeihitten in the Swedish town of Malmö. What could be mistaken for a residential building like any other reveals upon closer inspection an abundance of smart technology with an urban wind turbine and solar panels on the roof, charging stations for electric and gas vehicles and a tower that exhibits the inner workings of the building's energy management systems. Residents can monitor in real time their energy consumption on a tablet app. Peter Banner and his family moved in recently. Hi. So uh, this is uh, our apartment. We live here, me and uh, my wife Hannah and uh, daughter Hedvig and uh, son Truls. So here we have the interface which uh, gives me control of my energy consumption. Uh, with this I could follow what things in the apartment that actually drives the energy usage. So you're seeing different metering points uh, here, or actually different rooms. So we could enter the kitchen. Then I see uh, the actual temperature in the kitchen and the set temperature. You could also see uh, how much energy uh, that is used in the kitchen at this moment and also the associated cost to that energy. And this is actually one of the third most expensive hours today. One thing that I use personally quite much is uh, different light settings. So the lightning turns on and off automatically. For example, adapting to uh, light or, or the light condition outside. But it also gives me an opportunity to uh, uh, make the dishes uh, and do the laundry, etc. when the price is lower uh, of electricity. So uh, during the test this period we also get access to an uh, e-vehicle. So this car is uh, the family's primary car at this moment and uh, it fulfills uh, more or less all our needs. Uh, most of our journeys are quite short to grandpa and grandma in uh, Lund, the city next to Malmö and uh, this suits perfect for travels there. The goal of the building is to test smart solutions to reduce energy consumption. Inside the energy column next to the apartment block, an intricate network of pipes, metering devices and hot water tanks enable researchers to experiment with different technologies. Of the eight homes, four use district heating, two use biogas and two electric heating pumps. While Halbaheten takes research into sustainable living to a new level, the housing development sits perfectly in the wider community. West Harbour District emerged from an industrial wasteland in the mid-90s and planning authorities had a blank sheet to build one of Europe's first sustainable districts. It goes for this district. Uh, they are achieved today. I mean, 100% renewable energy sources, locally produced in, in a very interesting energy system with the aquifers, the windmills, solar panels, photovoltaic and so on. So that is achieved. But if we are talking about the district as a whole, the 100 hectares, uh, we are not really ready there. Um, but we have a goal that the city as a whole should be climate neutral at 2030. Today, close to one third of all electricity in Malmö is produced using renewable sources, with the aim of ensuring that the whole city runs on renewable energy in the next 15 years. <laughs>